Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 10th Inkscape tutorial. If you haven't viewed our previous tutorials, you can view them at www.learndigitaldesign.com. And if you're already a seasoned pro with Inkscape, you can certainly move ahead to some of the more advanced lessons. Alright, I can finally say that if you've been following along for these lessons, we're getting close to being done with the basics and getting into some actual design, but we've still got a few of the bases to cover. And I'm going to start off today with talking about what I do when I first open a new document. When I open a new document with Inkscape, this uh, page here comes up. And I really don't like this. As an artist, to me, this is very limiting. And uh, I don't want to have to just stay on this page. I, I like to create and then decide which area it's going to export to or which area it's going to, uh, what, how big my page is going to be later. So what I always do, and you don't have to do this, but this is my personal preference, is I push Control shift d and that brings up our Documents and Properties. You can also find Documents and Properties under the File menu here. And I always cut off, uh, turn off the page border and I always cut off the border shadow. So now that's completely gone and have a workspace here that I can work in freely and uh, worry about fitting it to a page later on. So for the rest of this tutorial today, we're going to talk about positioning objects. Let's get a few objects here on our screen. Make that so you can see it here. Excuse me. these other objects are covering it up so it's obviously in the back. What if we want this square to be in the front? Look up here at the top and see these buttons here. We can bring it up one level, one step here, or with this we can bring it all the way to the top. Likewise, on the left here, we can bring it down one level with this button or bring it all the way to the bottom with this button. You also have some hotkeys for this. Home brings it all the way to the top. End brings it all the way to the bottom. Page up brings it up one step and page down brings it down one step. Alright, now we're going to talk about layers. Okay, layers are different than these steps and positioning within this uh, workspace. Layers are actually separations that are different than these steps we're talking about. Layers are kind of like different uh, worlds that are stacked upon top of each other. To understand what we're talking about, let's illustrate that by going to the Layers panel. What you can do is go up here to Layer and then down to Layers. The hotkey is Shift plus Control plus L. And now here is our Layers panel. Right now we have Layer 1. This icon means that we can see this layer. If we turn this off, we can no longer see the layer. And as you can see now, everything's on one layer, so uh, everything's invisible. This button here will cause this layer to be locked so that nothing can be changed on it. Let's lock it and see what happens. I cannot select anything on this layer because it's locked. 
to create a new layer, go down here to this plus symbol, create a new layer, and let's name this layer 2. And it's going to position it above the current layer. Or we can choose to be below the current layer. Let's unlock layer 1. Now what if we want to move one of these objects to layer 2? Now let's say we want to move this. Let's grab this spiral here. And we're going to bring it to layer 2. We want to move it up one layer. Therefore, we're going to go to layer and switch to layer above. Excuse me. I was wrong. Go to layer and move selection to above layer. Now if we turn off this layer, or turn off being able to see this layer, our spiral has gone. If we lock this layer, we cannot move our spiral, but we can move the other pieces. Also in your layers panel, you have control over these individual layers by, you can rename by clicking on the name, double clicking on it here, or you can move these layers around individually and see that moved our spiral behind. You can have as many layers as you want and there's lots of uses for these. You can even make a layer have an, op an opacity. So there's lots of things we can do with these layers and uh, this sh short tutorial is not enough time to really describe how we're going to be using layers in every aspect but uh, you will understand soon enough. Uh, definitely need to absorb everything we talked about here because layers are very important and so is the positioning of objects on the workspace. So uh, we're running out of time so I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.